I come to you with important news. The government has been lying to you all this time. It turns out the earth is actually flat. Don't believe me? Just watch this. We'll start with some basic questions. The sky is... In a world where it feels like nothing is as it seems. Blue. It's blue. Of course. Oh, the sky's blue. The sky is blue. One plus one is... Two. 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 There's at least one truth we thought was indisputable. And the Earth is... Flat. Flat. The Earth is flat. My reality, my senses tell me that the Earth is flat and stationary. Or, of course. so I thought. But for the people attending the first Flat Earth International Conference here in Cary, North Carolina, their Earth, indisputably, is not round. Everybody here can agree on absolutely one thing, which is it is not a globe. Of course! You're kind of the, like, father of this oh movement. How, how would you... <laughs> oh, you can tell. He does not want all the blame for this. The one who sort of started it all. I did not invent flat earth. All I did was walk up to a door, point at it, say, you know what? I think there's some really interesting things on the other side of this, and check it out for yourself. If Flat Earth is a university, you know, FEA, then I would be the freshman recruiter. People have traveled from around, actually, Mark would say, across the flat world to attend. The first rule of Flat Club is you don't talk about Flat Club. Until now. You know, I have a poem about that. It's uh, <laughs> right here. Amy Nicholson wrote a book of po We never, We never got the, to hear the poem poetry about her flat earth journey a few months flat and seven months to rally kim Gurley came to the conference from H was that all used it uh, i haven't really come out all the way yet i'm still a little in the closet <laughs> the north pole's in the middle if that's where the north pole is i don't want to know where he's hiding the south pole when it comes to science there's things you can test right now right fire burns water's wet drop something, falls to the ground, that appears to be gravity. Those are things you can test, right? But the curving horizon, the sloping sea level, the spin of the Earth, unless you can see these phenomena with your own eyes, they may not be true. Right? A lot of people are going, this is This is crazy, crazy right? <laughs> no. This is a day that's going to be etched in history. It's a quest for truth. And it can seem crazy, but all of us laughed at this topic, including myself. This is the, probably the most ridiculous thing I ever thought that I'd be doing. And here I am organizing the Flat Earth International Conference, but I'm not laughing anymore. One, two, three, we're not crazy! Yeah. We're just insane! Some of us are just nuts! <laughs> There's a lot of people that have different ideas on what the flat earth is. But what one thing we all agree on is that we don't live on a spinning ball flying through infinite space. Do you feel yourself spinning, wobbling, gyrating? Every day. No, I'm pretty rock solid. We always say, don't believe us. Do your own research. But unless you know there's a question, you're not going to do the research. Toilet water's not flying out on people in Australia because of gravity. Okay, I don't know who wins the contest of being the biggest flat earther, but this dude totally wins the contest of the best outfit. Well, hello, it doesn't fly out of the toilet because water seeks its level. I believe it's a, some kind of a star field firmament it's about 6,000 miles above us. And it's up so this is where Harry Potter is now. Be a cymatic light field, electromagnetic energy, not gravity at all. Gravity is a deception. The sun and the moon are these transcendental cymatic magic. And the sun and the moon are these transcendental cymatic um, luminaries. The best part of being at a conference like this is I can talk to somebody that will listen to you. My mother, if I try to talk to her about any of these things, it's, she doesn't believe me. Is that a Harry Potter book? I just 
can't take that rejection. So coming here, you're going to talk to people who have done the same journey and they've come to the same conclusions and they don't. <laughs> that dude was like, what am I doing here? Where am I? In the same journey huh? and they've come what? to the same conclusions. I don't want to live a lie. Done about a dozen experiments. I was actually looking to debunk flat earth. I'm not like diehard flat earther. I want to be a flat earther. I want to believe the government. I, I want to believe what we've been told our whole life. Oh, he's just there for the refreshments. There's nothing worse than being like, oh, the people that we pay taxes to are lying to us with our money. They're lying. I ain't buying. So who's. You can always trust a man in cult. Who's they? Well, basically. Uh, Satan. I don't necessarily want to get into like naming. It's like you know, is it the Illuminati or the Bilderbergs? The Illuminati. Federal Commission or the Vatican. Or the Zionist, NASA, of course. These are amazing. Are you selling? Yes. As far as I know, I'm the first guy in the whole world to make a working physical model of the flat Earth. Well, I guess you haven't heard about the thing called a map, then. All these are for sale except this one, and that one got sold already. This one I had on the website for five seventy-five. So I named this one Hidden Lands Beyond because some of us think that there's other lands that they're hiding from us. And that could be very well that they discovered these other lands and they just don't want us to know about it. I mean, you know, we might want to go there, repopulate it. This is the beginning. This will be put in the history books today. Mark that date, because whether it's the next generation, or the generation afterwards, they will remember this date. People are taking notice. Something is going on. This has got to a point now where it's becoming real. How do I feel about this? Wars? Deception. Now it's just kind of funny to me. To me, this is Satan's greatest lie. Destruction. I got a dog. I would throw this thing in the chest. <laughs> He'll come back with his mouth and I'll oh, yeah. be queued up. Death. I feel that I've been deceived. We used to think when we got started individually in this that we were alone. We have one thing in common. We live on a flat plane. When you're watching videos at home, it's just you and the screen. And it's lonely. I came here because I needed to see what flat earth people look like. Now we know how flat earth people look like. And I was not disappointed. They look normal. Define normal. Very few people overweight. About 30% of them are cigarette smokers, and only four of them that I met are from around here. Nobody likes the, this uncomfortable feeling of being this tiny ball flying through space, you know, this vast, endless universe. So as far as what's underneath this, I don't know, could be, could be this thickness. It doesn't even have to be that thick because we can only drill down eight miles. Heck, if this is only 50 miles thick, we don't know. So it could be this sort of dimension. But don't take my word for it. I could be a mental patient. Could be. Recently released from an institution. Once I decided that I had to go with it being flat based on my, what, my gut feeling and common sense evidence. Then I was looking around to see who was making uh, a working model of the flat earth, and uh, I couldn't find him anywhere. I guess I was the chosen one or the, the, the calling because I had the skills to do this. The chosen one. I just put some ice in here because the sun as it goes around pretty much keeps this area melted. How do you know that the earth is flat? If the 
earth is round, why do cars look like this? And not like this. Hmm? If the earth is round, why do shoes look like this? And not like this. Hmm? If the earth is round, why do planes look like this? And not like this. Hmm? Um, well, I've watched over 50 hours of video. That's also how I educate myself. So I went down to the seashore, down in New Jersey, and I did my own testing. What sort of testing? So you take a straight edge, and you go from one end, and you follow the, the horizon of the ocean, and you go straight edge just to the other end, and it's, it's flat. So there you have it, folks. The earth is flat. Like the palm of my hand.